Okay, so today what I'm going to show you is a little discovery that we made with this little cap here. Um, it's a quick carbonator. It's by a company called Liquid Bread. Looking on the side of it here, you can get it at your home brew stores. Most of them have it. And let's see, it says Liquid Bread. Um, it's from Orlando, Florida. And their number is 407-888-3533. So that's their phone number. Um, it is a quick carbonator cap. It looks just like a cap from the top of... Uh, Top it from a corny keg. Um, it's all plastic, and uh, basically what this does is you can take any uh, two liter, one liter, or like we're going to use today. I think this is like a 16, 20 ounce um, soda bottle. This is an old Mountain Dew bottle. Took the side off of it there and emptied it out, cleaned it out. And uh, what we also have is one of our uh, whoops. What we have one of our um, home brews here. This is a Stymie 75. I've had this in the refrigerator now for about a day or so, or whatever amount of time. Just get it cold, because cold works best. And uh, this stuff has been with some priming sugar in it in there for not quite a week, maybe a little about a week or so. Uh, it, and it's still not carved up to the way we want it. Now, I've done this actually um, right out of the secondary and right into doing this and carved up quite well after you know the best is to get it cold um, and that works the best with it you know so I'm gonna crack this open here and um, one of the things I forgot to put here is the uh, is the uh, bottle opener so give me a second while I find out I'll be right back okay so now I got the bottle opener obviously that's an important piece and uh, I'm doing this with one hand because I'm holding the camera with the other so it's gonna be a little difficult so we're gonna crack this guy open. As you can hear, there's very little carbonation in that whatsoever. Um, uh, constant temperature for carbonating in these bottles is important and that's something I don't got going on right now. So I'm going to get a glass up here and just pour a little in to show you that it is not very well carbonated, if at all. So close the cabinet and let's take a little pour here. Let's see. As you can see, it is hardly any bubbles in there whatsoever. I'm going to take a quick taste test and confirm that. Maybe a, yeah, a hint of it starting to carbonate, but still flat, very flat, um, but still drinkable. So hold on. Okay, so that's gone. So here's the beer not carbonated flat um here's the quick carb cap we were talking about the liquid liquid bread cap and here is the uh plastic bottle we're going to put it in now the instructions say to never set your gauge on your co2 tank above 40. i've tried this very carefully at um you know 10 15 20 25 30 40. i worked up to 40 with it and it still holds it hasn't been a hand grenade yet um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to go to our co2 tank i'm going to turn that guy on let's see here so we're running at right at 40 if you can see that if you can focus in there and turn it all the way on i know we're all the way on you can see here's 20 here's 40 i know it's a little blurry so we got it set to 40. So we got enough juice in there. And then come down here again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in the beer into the uh, plastic bottle here from this bottle here. So I'm going to pause it to do that because I'm going to need two hands. Okay, we're back. So now I got the beer poured into the plastic bottle. Um, that bottle is probably about a 20 ounce bottle because, you know, 12 ounce beer is only about there. So. But that's it. So now we're going to take and we're going to put this cap on the top of here. And we're just going to make it a little loose. Just a little loose. One of the things in the instructions is to get all the air out of the bottle. So I'm going to squeeze this guy. Squeeze it all the way up into there, into the neck to get the air out. And now i got to actually put down the camera because <laughs> i got to use my other hand to tighten it. 
and now it's tight so there we go so now the bottle you can see is squeezed like that all the air is out of the neck of the bottle and I tightened down the top of the cap here with my other hand and uh, we're ready to go so now we just set that guy down carefully because it's not going to stand very well so I'm going to figure this out one hand's a little bit of a bear to do this so then we have the CO2 tank on we're going to take and we're going to get the air into there with one hand which is going to be a miracle uh, once again I'm going to have to pause this because there's no way I'm going to be able to push this down holding this camera in my other hand without having it fall. Okay, so now I'm back again. Sorry about that, but uh, one hand is not a very great way to do this. So now I put the top on from the CO2 tank, running at 40 pounds of pressure, and uh, pushed all the pressure. The bottle expanded, as you saw a minute ago. It was flat, now it's expanded. It's full of the CO2. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it, and we're going to shake it back and forth. And you, I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but the CO2 tank is groaning with the air, the CO2 coming out of it. If I turn it like this, you can see it bubbling in there. And I usually do this for about 30 seconds or so until the bubbling stops. There it goes. Shake it back and forth. You can hear the CO2 tank actually releasing more CO2 into it. I turn it over. You can hear it groaning and see it bubbling. Uh, maybe it's a little more than 30 seconds, but. And basically, what this does is it carbonates your beer very quickly. So, if you're impatient, like everyone here is, you can enjoy your beer quicker. Still bubble them. I usually keep doing this until the tank stops groaning or when, when I turn and check it like this. You can still hear it and see it pushing CO2 into it. Shake it back and forth. Shake it back and forth. Turn it over. There's still bubbles coming up from the CO2 going in. We'll keep going. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Check it again. Still bubbling a little bit. Shake it. One more time. Check it. Now it's pretty much stopped. Okay, so it should be good to go. So now all we got to do is put this puppy down and put our hands on the collar here for the uh, CO2 and um, release it and there we go now the bottle is full of you can see it's foaming up in here that's the carbonation going into the bottle and I usually just take it and I shake it for good measure a little bit more now I found this was nowhere in the instructions now the instructions did say that once being that this all, the uh, beer is cold in here and once you put the pressure inside of here with it being cold, um, don't store this outside the refrigerator in a warm or a hot place. Because when the, um, the temperature builds up, the pressure inside the bottle will build up and it will blow. So um, you should either, well, store it in a refrigerator or do what 99.9% .9 of everybody's going to do, drink it. Open it up and drink it because it's ready to go. Now. The instructions did say you can let it sit in the refrigerator for a while to totally carb. Um, we have found that at this point it's ready, uh, it, which is great because you know once again patience is not our virtue. So I'm going to move on over here. I found personally that because there's a lot of pressure inside here. Obviously, once I open this, this is going to start to foam out and foam out everywhere, and it, it really does. But I don't know. I'm I'm not a scientific person at all. Um, I found that when I run um, hot water over the top of this, just cracking it slowly, um, the it seems to foam a lot less. So that's what I do. So um, move over here to the sink and bring the faucet over here. I'm going to turn on the hot water. 
is now the the beer is ice cold, so this is not affecting the temperature of my beer hardly at all. So now once again, I'm gonna pause this because I'm gonna use two hands to open this guy up because there's no way I'm gonna be able to do that without doing that. Hold on. Okay, so now I've cracked it with you know my two hands. Now I can totally you can see it coming up. Now I found if I put it under the hot water like that. I just crack it, crack it, and close it real quick. Crack it and close it, crack it and close it. And now I can, you can, you can hear the air has stopped. And I can turn the water off. And, uh, one hand again. It's a lot of fun. There you go. The beer is actually carved. So, um, put this guy to the side. I usually always rinse it out when I'm done real quick because it can't get sticky and you don't want that being a pain for you so keep that guy right there and as you can see the beer is carbonated and we'll take a shot here in the glass usually I tilt the glass when I do this but we're gonna do it this way you can see <laughs> there you go you got a head already so um, I'm going to try to hit the side of the glass here to get a little less going on. Yeah, it's carved big time. So, like I said, usually with two hands I'll tilt the glass. I won't get this that bad if you do the pour the right way. But right now, it's a little difficult. So we're going to keep trying it this way. But you're getting a really good idea that the beer is very carved. So, um... A little more than uh, two fingers or one finger not exactly the perfect pour but if you tilt the glass the right way the f and using the bottle with two hands the foam will go back in the bottle and the liquid will come out and you don't get this at all you get a very nice you know one finger to one and a half finger head on top of it and uh, just hold it up here to the light so you maybe can see I don't know if you can see that there. I mean, maybe that light's better. You're, uh, you're not going to have a problem seeing it. You're going to have to take my word on it. So let's give it a shot here. So I'm going to take a drink. And look at the cap while I'm doing that. Wow. Very carbonated. I mean, I mean very carbonated. I mean, it's it's amazing how quickly and easily it does it. It and it take. Um, by the way, this is our Stymie 75 All Grain. Um, it's an IPA with uh, 75 minute hop additions. Delicious, delicious, absolutely delicious. And uh, this is the perfect, perfect accessory for the impatient home brewer, which we are now. Granted, aging this would be even better. But, uh, you know, that's uh, up for debate. But, so there you go. That's what it is. It's by Liquid Bread. It's the quick carb cap. You can put it in any uh, 20 ounce or whatever type soda bottle like that. And they recommend after a while of using the bottle, you get a new bottle because obviously, I guess it can weaken the bottle, putting that kind of pressure in there. So it is delicious and good. And, uh, that's the video for now. So look it up online, liquid bread carb cap. So I gave you the number earlier. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great one.